Well, here's a fun calculator activity that, well, you'll just finish in a few minutes. Um, you can see the purple numbers on the left here. I've got, I start with one, and then I'm going to start with one. One divided by one is one. Hmm, look at that. Um, I'm going to add these two numbers, one plus one, two. Yeah, I know you already said Fibonacci. Well, you got it, but okay, let's go through it. And this one is going to come over here. That is the previous Fibonacci number. Two plus one, three. I'm going to put the two over here. Two plus three, five, etc. So you see what's going on here. Five plus three, everybody is H, and I'm going to place the 5 down here, but now we're going to do something with the calculator. Oh boy. Now, guys love your calculators, maybe even your phones. Now you could use this one, and um, you know, you could use this one. The 4-banger will work, but sometimes it has less character spaces. So use the one that really shows you the numbers. And I'm going to say 8 divided by 5. What do we got there? Ah, oh, 1.6. Well, we expected that. But, um, you know, I'm going to put in zeros here because it really is that accurate. Now, um, if you don't go to that, you know, I don't know, 14 decimal places, well, you're going to stop where you do go. Wherever your calculator, if your calculator goes to 10, you're going to stop and round there. It's a fun activity. It's not supposed to be hard. Um, 8 and 5. 8 and 5, let me see. Uh, 13, according to my calculations. And the 8. So watch what happens. We take this number, and, and now again, we're going to calculate the 13 divided by 8. But we're going to write all this stuff out, 1.625. This is still easy. 1.625. Easy squeezy. Put those zeros in, because let's show some accuracy. Ooh, show your chemistry teacher. You know what you're talking about. And now, um, let's add these next numbers, 13 and 8. 8 and 13, 21. You don't think I'm going to do this whole page. No, that would be boring. I'm just getting you started, and then you're going to take over. So I'll take 21 divided by 13. Heavens to Murgatroyds. Now that's a number you can sink your teeth into. Ay, ay, ay. Um, I, don't, I don't even know if I can write that all down there. So write all those digits out there, and just round when you get to your last decimal place. So that's what you're going to do for the rest of this activity, and you're going to notice something happening. And these numbers, they swing wildly at first. One, two, one and a half, one and two thirds, 1.6. And these numbers are going to change in a very interesting fashion. And I'll give you a hint if you want to look ahead. Uh, well, I guess you can look at the other golden ratio activities you did. Oops, I said it, golden ratio. Um, but you can also do this. Bust out your calculator. Um, you all recognize that these are going to be the Fibonacci numbers down the left in purple. And then I'm just going to put the previous Fibonacci number here because that's how you generate them. You add, you add one to the previous. Um, but now we're dividing, and we're going to get some interesting, interesting quotients. Now, over here, I left you something, um, you know, and, and um, well, I mean, that's, we're going to pronounce this phi, the Greek letter phi. And, um, you know, there are sometimes names for this, but we're just going to say the reciprocal of phi. So when you get a chance with your calculator, give this a shot. Take the square root of 5, add 1, and divide by 2. See what you get. And then try it this way. Take the square root of 5 and subtract 1. Divide by 2. Let's have some fun. This is a warm-up. It shouldn't take you more than, I don't know, 7 minutes and 37 seconds. Enjoy. Enjoy.